Hey y'all, it's Elizabeth here, Bridget's Well. I wanted to come on and do a video of unboxing of Ethany's Awakened Soul Oracle. Um, it is a deck that I have, that has been on my radar for a few months now. Um, I always thought it was really gorgeous. The price of it was a little higher than I usually spend on my decks. So I didn't purchase it until recently when we had a little extra money come in that um, I decided to use for it. So I actually haven't even opened it. Um, I wasn't even planning on making a video tonight, but um, I really wanted to open my card deck and I wanted, but I wanted this to be our true unboxing video. So I went ahead and I was like, well, I'm just going to go ahead and do a video on it. So it came, it's from, she lives in Canada. So it came from Canada. I'm not going to show you the front because it's got my address on it. So let's open this bad boy up. <laughs> Y'all get the lovely, the lovely fun of watching me rip into things with making faces that I make. Oh, Ooh, hello. There's something small in there. Let's see. Yeah. Looks like a tiny little piece of rose quartz. Cool. It's one of my favorites. So, it's wrapped. And the cool thing was, too, like, she, if you don't know who Ethany is, she's a tarot reader, a tarot teacher, a um, businesswoman. And she actually, when I ordered this, I got an email back from her. Letting me know when it had shipped and asking me to make sure to let her know that I received it. So I thought that was really cool because you don't really think of, and I guess she's a small business person, I'm, I'm sure, but you don't really think of people that, you know, you see that are, I don't want to say famous, <laughs> but you know, kind of famous a little bit, being that personable. So it really kind of, before I even got the deck, I was like, well, that's kind of cool that she actually reached out to me personally to, you know, she wanted to make sure that I received it and to let her know. All right. So this little card came with it and I've seen some other unboxing videos. Um, and, uh, this, I think this is actually the justice card from the deck, but on the back, it actually has a personal handwritten note from Ethany. Which is really fucking cool. Excuse me for language. If anyone's funded by the F word. <laughs> it's one of my favorites, really. Um, I try not to say too many curse words in my videos, but, you know, sometimes. Yeah, really cool. So she personally signed my card. And it says, Dear Elizabeth, thank you so much for your order. I hope you love working with your new deck. Blessings, Ethany. Who does that? Now, okay, that's not... I won't say that's not totally true, because when I ordered my Chrysalis deck from Holly Sierra, the artist who created that deck, she did send me a personalized note. So I think that's one thing that's really kind of cool about supporting small businesses is one, you're making a difference. And second of all, you get that personal interaction with them. So it's really kind of cool. So there's that, this little card. I'm gonna go ahead and rip into it. Okay, so I know like from some of the videos I've seen that the, the bees, are um i think the bees there's bees on the back of the cards so there's just a little little sh god my brain a little sticker like what is that thing <laughs> a little sticker with bees on it it's pretty cute and i like bees i i have a beehive in my yard that i've kind of just let go um i was gonna do beekeeping and it just kind of never i did it for a little while like i was really good about it and then i just kind of stopped so i've just kind of let the hive B, ha, ah, B, um, <laughs> out in the yard. I figure, especially with all the stuff that's going on with bees, they're good. And I, they, they're in the yard all the time. Um, but anyway, I, I'm getting off subject. All right. It's like Christmas, it's like Christmas in March. Cool. Except I guess I knew what it was, so it really wasn't a surprise. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. All right. And this is, I think this is the first edition of this deck. 
I think she has other decks too. Um, there's one like a money, I think it's a money or a co-creation deck. I can't remember exactly. That was kind of neat looking, but this one just caught my eye. So the price on this deck at this point in time is $45 US. Um, like I said, that was that's a little more than I usually spend on my decks. Um, but this to me was such a special deck that it warranted that price. And you know, also like I said before, supporting a small business. So I think sometimes supporting small businesses, paying a little extra is okay. Um, so here it is. See that picture? That's the picture that got me. The very first time I saw that, I was just in awe. But this is the Awakened Soul Oracle deck. That's the front of the box. And this is the back. I'm going to take the plastic off in just a second. It's really cool. It's epic cool. It's 50 cards. Let's see here. Okay, so Ethan E. created and wrote the meanings to the cards and the artwork is by Danielle Mulligan so I just want to give props where they're due I always try to do that um, I think it's important to give credit to artists and creators always 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 because they don't get enough credit in this world you know they really don't all right wow okay so this box is thick really thick like sturdy there's the inside of the box and it's I mean it's a pretty thick box it's not like a cheapy um, mass I mean I'm sure this is kind of mass produced but not really you know what I mean so there's the front there's the inside of the box which is the, the bees again and the really cool purple, which purple is one of my favorite colors. Um, so yeah, let's let's see here what we got. Oh wow, shit! <laughs> Cursing. I'm sorry. I, like I said, I'm really sorry if it offends somebody. Um, we're all adults here, though. I try not to use it excessively, but sometimes when you're overwhelmed, you just can't help it. Wow. So if y'all don't know, um, I. I've always loved horses. I don't really ride much. Well, I don't ride at all anymore because um, I'm a little heavier than I used to be and I'm not going to, first of all, my horse is 23 and has a little bit of arthritis and so, and I'm heavier than I used to be and she's not a big horse. She's um, almost a pony actually. Technically, she's like 14 hands high, so she's a, not a big horse at all. Um, so I don't ride her at all because that's just wouldn't be fair to her but anyway this is the first card on top that is just so cool it's called it's the action card and my horse actually used to look like that when she was younger she is all you know horses gray horses or white horses most white horses are actually called considered gray and I'm gonna be I'm gonna not talk about horses anymore because it's not what this video is about but anyway when they're younger, they are black usually, um, or, you know, dark. And then as they get older, they gray out. So that is what my horse looked like kind of when she was younger. She had, you know, the dark hair. So that's a really cool card for me. The first one that I see in the deck, amazed. Um, and I honestly, and the archery too, like it's something I've, that's always interested me. And I think mounted archery is freaking badass. I mean, it is amazing. I would love to be able to do that. Maybe. <laughs> so anyway, I'm di digressing a lot. So here's the little book that comes with it. It's a nice book. I mean, look, it's pretty de decent sized book for a card deck. It's not like the, you know, the little white book that you, a lot of times you'll get. And of course it's got all the cards listed. It's got different spreads, how to use the book, let's see here, <clears throat> so I know I've watched some of Ethany's videos and she talks about how she loves helping awakened souls and working with awakened souls 
And, you know, I think everyone's on their own separate path to awakening, um, whatever that means for you. But I definitely think that, personally, I would consider myself an awakened soul. Obviously, I'm always, you know, progressing. But yes, definitely, for sure. Um, this is really cool. It's got different spreads. And then, of course, it's got the card meanings. And they're, you know, it's a black, a little black and white meanings. Um... It's got the story of the card, the awakened meaning, the shadow meaning, which is great, affirmation for the card, and personal reflections. So that's pretty nifty. All right, so let's look at some of these cards. So there's 50 cards. <clears throat> there's 50 cards in this deck, and I'm, I'm going to pull my hair back because I'm getting warm. It's been really, really warm here, and it's March, and it's in the mid to high 70s, which is crazy. So I'm hoping that it's not just a precursor to what could possibly be a very warm summer. All right. <laughs> Better. I keep my hair up most of the time because I get hot, so big girl problems, I guess. Um, okay. <coughs> These are the cards. I'm not going to show you every single one. Um, and this is my, and they're big. I mean, so I have regular, I would say I'm an average, I'm a little, I'm an average size as far as height goes. So here's my hand. I mean, it's a pretty, pretty sizable card. I, my guess is about five inches. Um, just I love the artwork on these cards love it uh, let's see here I'm just gonna look through them really quickly like and they're really cool too because these cards um, are diverse they're not just the excuse me but the white hippie woman standing on a mountain with her arms outstretched type of cards these are they show diversity um, they show different ages of people so um, for instance, let me look here, this one, she looks like, you know, she, she's kind of Latina, but look at the colors. This card is authenticity. I mean, gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Um, and they're modern. Whoa, that one just almost jumped out of my hand. All right. Challenge. Roller Derby. I mean, come on. How many Oracle cards do you have Roller Derby chicks on there? Um, let's see here. <clears throat> yeah, like here. This one, it's got a little girl on it. So it's not just, um, like I said, typical flowery images you see on a lot of things these days. So th that's another thing I liked about these is there's diversity on these cards. Devotion, the ballet dancers. I mean, these cards. And the, um, let me show you the back. Sorry, I've gotten... It's just the, the double Bs. So here, this is my favorite. At least the favorite, the, one of my favorites, I would say, is this Gaia card. It's just... I mean, look at that. It's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. <sighs> Makes me want to be her. The cards, too, are, are pretty thick. They don't feel flimsy. Um, I have some really nice cards I got. I'm not going to mention who, whose cards they are. But they're kind of like a self-published deck as well. And they're gorgeous, but they're so thin. I've never used them because I'm afraid of ruining them. Um, and I had originally planned on getting them, uh, what's the right word? Laminated. I haven't done it yet. But they've just been sitting on my, on my shelf for like two years because they're so flimsy that I'm afraid if I use them, they'll just be destroyed. But these are really, th you know, they're thick. Yeah, I mean, look at this. Gorgeous, beautiful colors. Gratitude. Gorgeous. Guidance, a tarot reader, oracle card reader. Uh, 
cool. Looks like, <clears throat> so knowledge. There's a little boy. And it looks like those are the Chinese lanterns at the top, taking the knowledge upwards to the higher self, I would think. Or reconnecting. Meditate card. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And obviously I can't, I can't show y'all every single one. Um, that would take forever. I'm just going to try to pick and choose as I go through the deck really quickly. Mirror. Oh my gosh, look at this one. Release. Isn't that beautiful? And I like the way that these cards, it seems like the imagery is, the imagery is different. Like, you know, you haven't seen it before. Whoops, sorry. That's a cool one. Shapeshifter. Little Red Riding Hood. So I think too from these images you can you can see that it's got a oh sorry, geez, I'm having issues. I swear I haven't had any alcohol. Um it's got a, a word at the bottom. But you can also pull what you want from these images, I think. I think there's enough there on the card intuitively that you can move forward. You probably wouldn't even really need the book. Um if you're um, confident in your own readings and your own intuition. And that's not to say, I'm not trying to put people down for not being confident in their readings. It just, for me personally, it has taken me a long time to get to the point where I don't feel like I always need the book. Um, solitude. And another cool thing about these cards is it looks like, you know, like I said, there's diversity in um, race and age and gender, which is really cool because a lot of cards, you may not see that as much. I don't think, and I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, let me know. Um, tell me which decks you know of. Yeah. I mean, look, treasure. vision so yeah I mean I like I said this this deck was a little pricier than I usually set, spend on decks but um, I had been wanting it for a while so I, I decided I was gonna go ahead and, and buy it trust So yeah, there's my unboxing video. Um, I'm sorry if I look down at the cards a lot. So, would I recommend buying this deck? Oh, absolutely. It's amazing. The pictures. Oh, and another thing too. The sides are gilded. Silver. So they're, you know, they got that sparkly element to them too. Um, yeah, I mean, seriously, y'all. These are some good cards. Um, yeah, I mean, look. Ah, I'm going to lose them. Change. Look at her. She's looking changed right in the face. And she's not afraid. Very cool. So, yeah. This deck, definitely, for sure. <laughs> A plus. A plus. So I'll, you know, I'm going to work with this a little bit, probably sleep with it. That's what I tend to do with new things in my spiritual toolbox, I guess you could call it. Um, when I get new crystals or I get new, like, wands or not everything, but a lot of them I will put in the bed with me, which my husband loves. He, uh, he doesn't like it when I do that, but. Um, to me that that's kind of a really easy good way to get your energy into things um, I'll probably also smudge this even though nobody else has really had it I like to do that anyway just to kind of clear the energy of things I'm not sure if it's actually even necessary but I do it anyway so Awaken Soul Oracle I will put a link to Ethany's website in the comments not the comments in the description um, <clears throat> so 
If anyone else has this deck, please comment. Let me know if you like it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you have a wonderful evening and many blessings.